I sat on a rock and waited for the interview at the top of a mountain. Do you think? But like, I still kept the art. Going through, like with you. Yeah. <laughs> so they made you. <laughs> apply, apply, apply. I applied on like Costa, I applied mm. on Reebok, mm. I applied mm. on mm. Birkenstock Crocs. Yeah. Same style, same thing. Mm. I was like, mm. what are you guys doing? Yeah, without you know, asking without, you, without involving Why don't you, you like collaborating or something? Yeah. And yeah. I started hating me because like I'm calling out their friends. Mm. You know, like, oh, I'm calling out brands. Yeah. They'd be like, that's not what an artist do. That's what like, and I don't, you're not on my side. Yeah. Gucci, Louis, you are working Puma, way, 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 new balancing. I've done what I need I worked, to. dude, like yeah. I worked with yeah. over, let's say 50 brands, bro. Yeah. Like over, I can say 100. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of brands. Yeah. Like yeah. global, renowned, head office. You don't know how I was doing all those collaborations. True, true. Artists. Mm. Y'all got backed up by agencies. Yeah. Y'all got backed yeah. up by your yeah. managers. Yeah. I'm doing this thing by myself. Yeah. Y'all got galleries. Y'all got friends. Yeah. I got no friends. Yeah. I'm my friend. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm my yeah. own boss. I did this thing on myself. By yourself. You know, yeah. and... I get why the, the hate was coming for you. I understand, because they were probably like... And you're live on Dead Radio. <laughs> Welcome to another very special episode of Dead Radio with your boy Ini. Um, and today we have an extremely special guest. I'm going to let him introduce himself and then we're going to dive a little bit into his life story and extract as many jewels as we possibly can for you guys. Um, yeah. Um, hey everyone, I'd like to shout out everyone that knows me at home, I'd like to shout out to my mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Um, I'm well known as Jay Carson. I'm a multi purpose human. You know? Ooh, I like that. So, I like that. yeah, I'm a multi purpose human. I mean, you can put me in any ring, yeah. I can simplify anything. Yeah. You know, yeah. whether yeah. it's like I've been in like different fields. Yeah. Even like where I didn't know nothing about those fields, yeah, yeah. but I was able to simplify. Yeah, what's going on? What's going on in yeah, that like industry? I'm good at simplifying. Okay, okay. so help this. I say I'm okay. a, I'm a multi-purpose, purposeful human. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, give me anything. I can simplify it right now. Okay. Like put me in a room where like they speak, yeah. but of a new language. I'm gonna understand, figure it out, figure it out and yeah. say yo. How that. can you go through this conversation and win this thing and for them okay. to understand me on like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I'm that person. I mean, I'm able. Yeah. I'm the yeah. most capable. Capable in any room in that any you room. put you in. Yeah. So, okay. and I think it's God who like made me this person. I can't yeah. say I went to school, I can't say I met this person. Yeah, yeah it's good to meet people. But there's a God lot, put the pieces lot. together. Yeah, God yeah. is like, God made yeah. me. Yeah. God knew yeah. I have like a testimony. It was written before that yeah. like, I'm going to be this person. Today I'm going to be in this room, yeah. doing this interview, yeah. saying all these things yeah. that I'm saying right now. Yeah. So yeah. God decided to bless my parents with a no. multi-purposeful son. Human being. I feel that. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to start off, how are you feeling? How are you today? I feel good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Life has it's, its own ups and downs. That's true. And that'll never change. And that question, when you ask someone how are they feeling, yeah. in terms of what? Just life. You know? Yeah. yeah. When you ask someone, it's like, how are they doing? How are you? In terms of what? You know? Yeah. Are you feeling hungry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are your emotions today? Yeah. yeah. The emotional headspace that you're in today. Say like, you know, you can, your emotions can be out of control. Yeah. You know, because as humans, we try to control yeah. a lot. And yeah, yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. things which are like, that are out of our control. Yeah. Completely. So, 
I ain't trying to control any of my emotions. Mm, 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 mm. I try to handle them. Mm, mm. So if I wake up low, mm. if I wake up like on high spirits, mm. if I wake up not feeling anything about life, if I wake up wanting to do something about life, that's how I'm going to take that day. Yeah, yeah. But like, what mostly makes me um, present and say that, okay, no matter how I feel today, but I appreciate that like, I have the first breath. Mm. I had the first mm. breath. Mm. When I woke, when up, woke up, the biggest blessing is to breathe and counting my blessings and saying there's someone who couldn't have this breath yeah. of this Friday, of this 12th of January, yeah. you know, yeah. 2024. Yeah. 2024. And I'm here, no matter how I feel, those are just emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't no blessings. I hear that. I you know, that. so how I feel, I'm blessed. I am, I am, yeah. have anything that would like make me capable to achieve Anything. everything yeah. that I want. You yeah. know, it's like yeah. people, like the truth is for everyone to wake up depressed, for everyone to wake up feeling sad, for everyone to wake up, to tell you the truth, my brothers, because people don't have money. Yeah. 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 People don't have like good jobs. That's true. People That's not, true. don't have true. what they see on Instagram. Yeah. People yeah. don't have... Yeah what they really want to have right now yeah. but like you need to just count your blessings yeah. and say look yeah. have everything that i need you are here yeah and you are able and you are capable yeah you have these hands you have these eyes you have these ears yeah. you have everything that like those are the biggest blessings bigger than money yeah you know yeah. what i mean yeah what yeah. if now i'm granted with a billion dollars i'll go buy all the pl private jets it falls yeah and then your life is over. My life is over. Yeah, yeah. Which was more valuable than all those things. Yeah, I'm here. I yeah. can, like, my hands can help me with a lot of things. Like, I'm telling you about, like, the smallest things in your body. Yeah. You know, if I cut off your toes, you wouldn't be able to walk. Oh, no. Definitely. Definitely. But, like, you you're going to undermine yeah. your fucking toes. No, you're right. You're even right. with your fingers. There's a lot that you wouldn't do right. if right now, even though I don't cut them off, but, like, just, like them not just working your hands not folding mm. you know yeah. your hands need to fold yeah yeah your okay. fingers need to bend yeah that's true that's true for movement to happen yeah you know what i mean yeah i hear that so, i hear that okay I mean, we need to like how you feeling today is that like I'm present. I'm like, present. I'm here. I'm grateful. I'm I'm grateful. I'm, I'm here. I'm blessed. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. You know, I hear like, that's I, a beautiful I can feel perspective. This, you know, like, yeah. I can feel my, like yeah. I'm yeah. Bro, here right now. Do anything that you want. Yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. what I have, take everything. Yeah. But I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, people just need to learn that you're here, bro. Okay. Um Let's take it back. Where are you from? I'm originally from Pretoria. Pretoria? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what were the seeds that were planted in you as a child that are now trees? Trees in terms of the perspective that you have even right now. I mean, like, I can say, like... Did you grow up in a religious family, home? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, my family, my mom, my dad, my little sister, you know, like, for me to be this person yeah um they planted our, those seeds yeah they kind of like like i made myself who i am yeah right yeah. yeah they are the people who just like that the foundation for the structure that. to that. stand right yeah. and yeah. they are this they are the other like the people who planted the seed yeah. and watered it, watered it, yeah. and it grew. Then there was a point where I also had to water myself. True, you know, true. To grow. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, like, my dad, he was like, there was, like, my dad would be able to do everything. Mm. 
He was a man of connections. Mm. He was a man of access. Mm. Same with me today. Same with you. I'm yeah, a man that's... of connections and access. Yeah, your father's son. I'm my father's son. I hear that. My mom, my yeah. dad, my mom. Yeah. She was an intelligent woman, my okay. dad, still, to have connections and known people and know mm. how to, you know, you need to be intelligent, you need to be smart, and going back, being able, being capable mm. to do all those things. So my mom, every time when I came back from school, she would, you know, like, I would go to my mom's, like, not, my mom was not a teacher, but, like, my mom would teach me at home. Mm. I would do schoolwork, and I would do my mom's work. Crazy <laughs> double up, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah. my mom yeah. would like go, like, it's after school, mm. fine. Would have my school books, will have my mom's books, mm. notebooks, where it's like I write a date, I write like this is my mom's book, this is my school mm. book. She would see what they taught us at school today, mm. and she would teach me what she wants to teach me from her textbooks. Okay, then I would go, like, no, we're not here yet. She was like. When they start getting there, you're, you're already, already there. there. Oh. You know what I mean? She was like, so is that she was how like, ah, uh-uh, JJ. <laughs> I won't forget her words. Kerna ara sofi iti mo. Ara ba na we na aba tobu fi ka mo mo we na beno mo na jebe sotu fi ti. Yo. So I've applied that thing in, in everything life. that I do. Yeah. Hence, like yeah. you asked me, it's like, how's it been 2024? And be yeah. like, I've been there, done that. Yeah, yeah. You've always been ahead of the curve. Of the curve, you know? And so because of those seeds. Those that seeds, you know? So I'm, people ask themselves, like, why are you always ahead? And it's like, bro, I was trained. Yeah, like I was that. trained. I was trained like that. It's like, Rivera mm. Gala Kopi. Mm. Yeah, like yeah. we are constantly not because of like we are not there yet we should just chill we should just like make it there bring it here yeah you guys will catch up they'll catch up yeah yeah you know what i mean and that makes you a leader automatically Automatically. if you're ahead of everyone that's leadership Mm. Mm. that's leadership skill 101 where does the creative seed become implanted in your mind? Were you a creative even as a child? Like, were you a creative kid? Yeah. It's yeah. like... Yeah. I watch TV. Yeah. Um, seeing myself doing things that they do on TV. On TV. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. I want to do this. I want to... Mm. Mm. You know, like... I, I feel like TV and exploring you know, like, different places in my life, traveling and all that, mm. kind of also sparked my creativity, you know. Mm. But I think it's a natural thing. Yeah. There yeah. is something which, like, I planned and said, like, I'm going to be a creator. Yeah. It's, like, it's a natural thing. It came naturally. I mm. didn't plan anything. But even, like, at home, the way, like, I would, you know, how they would see me doing things, it was like, hey, we're not a good thing. Like, they would say, yeah. like, we're not a good TV. And at that time, I'm yeah. young. I'm at, like, grade three, grade four. But, like, having, like, my uncle, like, like you know, I would, I don't know. Like, they were just seeing me as a kid from TV. Like, I hear you. You know, like, because Kyle, way back when you're doing something which, like, out of the ordinary, they would say, that's the shit that we only see on movies. TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hear and so I was yeah. like, "Why don't you want to go TV?" And so I was like, "Why don't you want go TV?" That is been, yeah. you know. So and it just obviously grew. It grew and grew. really got me into TV. Yeah. You know, and got me to TV, got me to New York. Yeah. It got me, you know, wherever yeah. I am, yeah. wherever I went, yeah. wherever I met, and it's. Once again, those seeds. Those that seeds. TV. Yeah. yeah. So as yeah. I heard it, when I, I don't know what's going on. And you're live on Dead Radio. <laughs> And you're live on Dead Radio. So, we talked about the seeds that have become trees right now. Mm. 
what was the first medium you, you chose to express yourself through? Was it the music? It was music. It was the music. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because okay. I was close with a lot of successful musicians. How? In but like I never really used... Pit, Pitoria, like how does that even happen? Just most right there. No, or it's, through mutual people. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, I mean, yeah. like, everyone loved music way back, you yeah. know, and having friends of mine, seeing them record, mm. um, and also me trying to record, mm. doing the composing some music. Mm. Mm. Then, then one of my family relatives, uh, was friends with some of, like, you know, it's way back. It's like let's say 2010. Mm. It's close to some of like the coolest rappers in Joburg. The legends. All these guys. Mm. You know, so mm. I started. He started bringing them to my house. Mm -hmm. All those things. You know, like yeah. meeting like all those people. And and it's crazy how like I did music with those people, but like we never released. I was just like you know. Actively. Yeah, I've always wondered Jorge, why you never put that music out. Yeah, because I was like, I don't want to be considered as like a... Art, a musician. Musician. Okay. It felt like, I don't need that title. I don't mm. want to be like called a rapper, a singer. Or, uh, I, I feel like, like you don't like titles and boxes and yeah, names and, boxes and genres. And, and genres, yeah, yes, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I was like, I was speaking to some friend of mine. I was like, what's a better way of like getting out of this thing? Um, we've been doing it for quite some time, but like we're just doing it for fun. But like, how are we gonna release this music now? It's mm. like, okay, shop, no, take it to corporate, you know. Like, I was like, okay, let's take it to corporate now and say, okay, let's start selling these songs for ads, let's start scoring movies, let's start, mm. you know, like, let's start like seeing on how we're gonna put it out, put there. It out yeah. There. Then we started, like, yeah, man, doing all the right things, getting clients, getting like accounts. People would like want Damn. to use the music for way them. back then. Yeah, way back then. Then that's crazy. Um, so we started to campaign this music. Now it was no longer music anymore. It was like campaigns, you know. Damn. So uh, it was no longer about like doing the sound or doing hip hop, doing mm. whatever. We're doing everything. It's like we're exploring from like classical music and alternative music, whatever, anything. Better like had to like us what we had to submit and mm. whatever we had to submit it you know so and now didn't just do that for too long i didn't do that for too long because mm. like still i just like this music thing i don't want to be caught up and what know, didn't like, you like about it I like that know. title even now like mm. i don't want mm. anything to, to be like this. to like to be said like even like people saying he did music i don't want you know to mm, be seen like mm, that mm, like you know mm, he mm. was a music campaigner he was a music mm. seller he was selling music he was like you know um mm. writing music mm. type of thing composing. you know composing I you know it. so um it, it shifted real quick mm. then i started to express my mediums through creative direction now Okay. Yeah, okay. so um, writing down campaigns. Was know, it for brands, for yeah, artists? It started with okay. um, it started with myself. I started to campaign myself. Okay. I started to okay. campaign my own ideas. Uh -huh. So I had this idea called Township Rockstar. Yeah. So yeah, Township yeah. Rockstar is the fusion of the city modern lifestyle with a township mm. life to educate the world about proven lifestyles in South Africa. Okay. So it's like... Okay. Um, Taking things from the township and taking things from the city, and bringing those elements together, together. you know, and that kind of like creating something, creating new. something new, you know, yeah. like it's like a social cultural movement and yeah. tying it back to everyone who, who's successful now, who's like uh, representing South Africa on a global scale. And all those people, most of those people have like township and rural humble mm -hmm. beginnings. That's true. That's you know, true. and That's look true. where they are right now. That's Black true. Coffee, whoever, That's wow, true. Wow, yeah. Tony Gum, yeah. who, look, all of them, they come from townships and all that. So That's I would, I wanted to build a community of those people and saying like, okay. call township yeah. rockstars. Rock stars. Okay. Yeah, so I was like, these people are like rockstars from the township. Oh, you know, and Koka see on a do rock star, Gama Banzo, La Gava Strata, on Zara and Lizard's on a little so Marano, Honalama rock star, Gamara Likishe. 
and there are another rockstar inside the hood oh, and yeah. in the city out of it in the city we no longer rockstars that my panzola i got to go and i get an abaco car see ragamo tropum but like doing big things okay. and it's like educating yeah. what they're doing in the city we're doing it in the township the what they're doing in the township we're doing in it in the, the city. city okay you know so it, it was like a town in a ship to the city okay you know so that's township so that was Township the first Rockstar. project that you creative directed. Yeah, like together. I wrote it. Yeah, I put it together. I structured the whole project, social culture. I went in partnership with GQ for the launch in 2016. Um, uh, yeah, I think 2015, 2016. Yeah, yeah, did like GQ, um, where GQ did like a headline saying, uh, "Is Township Rockstar the new social culture?" Mm. So now what happened is that like. It started as forming like it was like doing like photo shoot series mm. like with doing like a photo shoot series mm. then on that photo shoot series when a magazine writes about it like in mm. the whole editorial yeah, it was going to be on it. writing okay. profiling it and saying this is tons of rocks the style tons of rocks okay. is about what 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 so it would take like vans putting on with diggies mm. putting on with that or oh, that or oh, that oh, with that kokasi okay ever telling bahla tsa utura ka mokasi re tseli picha you know that's on a let's say you want to learn having like also yeah. different ethnic groups Crazy. and the shoots come on guys see it was also let's say bringing like you know somebody don't go down like skateboarding mm. and all those things you know like that's happening in the city but like doing it in the township mm. you know like so but um presenting that through photography and film and yeah. you know so yeah. so yeah. people can see what's a presentation of township rocks that is something like yeah. this and now it started where like it built its own portfolio tantra brox mm-hmm. right it became mm-hmm. strong as a social cultural movement because like what i taught myself is that you need to do the job to get the job okay so you need to give before you get basically. i get yeah, yeah. so i yeah. did the job to get the job so after doing the job creating a, a higher profile for tantra brox so that's like i started going to brands and saying guys I've I have created this, this thing. How mm. about we do a collaboration on your mm. next job, mm. and but like we're gonna drop it as a tantra rocks the drop okay. of like this new sneaker. Okay, cool. It's a it's a Nike. It's a what mm. what? It's a Gucci. Mm. It's a Louis. Um, we're gonna do a tantra rocks the shoot for Louis. We're gonna do a tantra mm. rocks the shoot for Gucci. We're gonna do tantra rocks the shoot for Vans. You know, like this type of thing, mm. and. Um, they were like, okay, we like this thing, you know, like we even like the name, we yeah. like, you know, the idea, um, the idea yeah. and yeah. we like yeah. what you've already done with it, mm. you know, like the shoots and everything. Yeah, actually, that's what the mar- that's that's the market that we've always wanted to tap mm. into, the young market. Actually, I, I would say like I was one of the people who like one of the pioneers for street culture movements in South Africa. I believe that. I believe that definitely. Yeah, you know, so. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, Township Rockstar winning collaborations with a lot of brands, yeah. like yeah. a lot. It went from Archerville to New York, yeah. to Archerville UK, to, to yeah, like yeah. it went yeah. everywhere. It went like global brands, like yeah. magazines wrote about it, like way back, even Bon, Carl. Then, uh, push Township Rockstar, after pushing Township Rockstar, then I, since I knew a lot about, you know, like structuring campaigns and all mm, that, mm. I started like now taking this whole thing of like my whole collaborations with brands, my ideas, which I've done with these 10 plus brands in collaboration with Township Rockstar. Yeah. I started like compiling my own as if like it's a, my own profile my own portfolio okay. like a resume okay for jay carson, for jay carson yeah okay. then i started like taking it to like brand directors marketing directors of these brands and say oh you know what put me inside the office because you only deal with the direct yeah with the direct guy. person yeah you know so i was like put me in the office put me in the office you know like look at my look what, at my work. look what look what i've done mm. so imagine mm. doing this in your office mm. Mm. But not exactly mm. doing Township mm. Rockstar, mm. but mm. working on what you guys 
are working on mm, like nah, you know like yeah. put me in your office you yeah. know like let's yeah. work let's work. whatever brief that you guys give me yeah let me execute yeah, let those me briefs execute yeah okay. you know like let me do this campaign let you me went to them you didn't wait for them to come no to i went to them mm. you know i was like yo this is what happened mm. we've worked you've seen our collaborations whatever i've been pushing mm. and one man i've been doing i was doing like agency shit for like one man you know like where did you learn that from like is that from Vega? Like, how do you know how to Even speak before I got language? to Vega, mm, mm. Vega lectures are shot by me about, like, mm. these collaborations. Because, like, I was doing... While I was still at Vega, I was, like, doing massive collaborations around that time. Township okay. Rockstar was, like... And I had, like, different, like... It was not only Township Rockstar. There were a lot of, like, campaigns, which, like, I would always come up with in my yeah. head, you know, like... And then structure and them. structure them and have a brand to collaborate, have a brand to fund, have mm. a brand to, mm. you know? Mm. And, um, yeah, then I started... I was called in... This brand was picking up here in South Africa. It's a shoe care brand, Sneaker Lab. Mm. Um, they wanted to open a store in Brom. They wanted to, like, mm. all those things. Mm. And, you know, so... They wanted to activate Yeah. Spacey. Nah, what happened is like they had their own plan, but they wanted like, how can they like spread abroad? Mm. How mm. they wanted a global appeal. Okay, okay. And they already knew it's like, okay, he's a fucking New Yorker. Yeah. You know, like he's like close right to these. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. Jay, here's our stuff. Here's our mm. brand. Take it to New York. Build something mm. with our brand. Do something. Mm. Do something for Sneaker Lab brand. in New York. Yeah. You know, then. Then I structured a campaign for them. It was like um, 24 hours on the... Yeah, 24 hours clean on the go. 24 hours in New York, something like that. Okay. Clean on the okay. go. Okay. So, oh, yeah, okay. you know, okay. so it's like 24 hours in New York. What happens when you're in New York? You're catching subways. Your shoe mm, is getting stepped daddy, on. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, you can just okay. like pull up like a wipe. And just wipe. It. You know, like keep it moving. Yeah, you know, and keep it moving. Yeah. And there's like, even like we did like a young ad. There's a subway. <laughs> there's what, what, the yeah. mean, pictures and yeah. like the whole nice landmarks in America and all that, those type of things. Crazy. Then, um, yeah, from there, I moved, um, linking up with people from Puma North America and also helping the brand to have... So it's the same thing, you <coughs> come up with a campaign and then you go to the direct person. To the direct person, yes. Mm, the so decision maker. Sneaker Lab wanted me to do this. But I would go to another brand and oh, say, yeah. I'm doing this for Sneaker Lab. Give me the sneakers. Give me the sneakers. Uh -huh. So which, sneak, which sneaker do you guys have in coming out right now mm -hmm. that like, we can put on, on this campaign of Clean on the Go? Mm -hmm. Then Puma's like, no, we have this sneaker that's dropping soon. Oh, Selena nice. Gomez, she's going to be the face of it and blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Come mm -hmm. to our office in Boston, meet and greets and everything. And I was like, all right, cool. Pulled up my homie, Clyde Edwards. He's a mm -hmm. senior head marketing manager for Puma North America, not knowing now if it's like, he's the one who approves collaborations from Fenty, okay. Rihanna, all those. He's the guy. He's the guy. Okay. He handles all those things. Okay. So, um, every celebrity brand collaboration is done by Clyde Edwards, yeah. So, um, he uh, met the guy, did this campaign, clean on the go, sneaker lab, then Puma North America. Yeah, we did that, then, then I left. But before that, I was also like, you know, been working mm -hmm. with like Vans and mm -hmm. all these other brands. Mm -hmm. When Fila was launched in South Africa, I was you one of the they. people that like brought it back to South Africa in yeah. 2016, I think. Yeah. Then um, when Daily Paper started showing up in South Africa, mm -hmm. I was there, you know, mm -hmm. like um, when Anatomy, the sneaker mm -hmm. store opened. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. even that one, I was not even like, I didn't approach Anatomy, I didn't approach Daily Paper. Okay. Those are the things which like came to me organically. Okay. Like, it's like the Anatomy guy. He was like, yo, he came Jay? with my hand straight. Yeah. No, yeah. I was just walking by. I had to say some shit is nature. And mm. like, yo, man, why you dripped up in vents so hard? Yeah. It's like, no, Come I'm sponsored man. by the brand. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you sponsored by the brand. And I'm telling him, it's like, no, I'm working with this one. One, two, and three, four people. Then he was like, he took out the phone. He called that guy. He's like, yo, man, yo, I'm Do with... You know? I'm with, no, you just say, yo, okay. I'm with Jay Carson right now. I was like, yo, yeah, that's my boy. And yeah. say, shop. Yeah. You know what he did? He called like a, his boy inside. And it's like, yo, man. 
whatever the, this guy needs, hook him up. And, yeah, whatever. And da, 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 That's da, God. Da. Yeah, That's then God the, yeah, then it's like same time, stakes moving higher, start doing more shit with them, paid projects and everything, you know, clean. And this guy was a director at the time. He was no okay. brand manager. He was no nothing like that. He was a director, you know? was a director at the time. And um, um, so moving forward, linking up with like, starting to link up with American influential American figures, figures mm. you know, like in the industry, people who do, who make things happen for people like Aesop Rocky, mm. you know, yeah. Aesop Ferg, like all the these mob, guys, yeah. like, you know, like most of these guys in America, started to link up with them and we started doing some work, did like bicycle collaborations. Ah, uh, that was with Ferg. Yeah, right? with Ferg, yeah. yeah. We did yeah. like bicycle collaborations yeah. in New York. We did like, that was crazy. Crazy. Yeah, you that know, was crazy. Yeah, so that was 2018, I think. Then now it starts scaling up, you know, mm. like mm. now tipping into higher fashion, linking mm. up with like the directors of Caring Brands, which mm. Caring is a company. At that time they were owning Gucci, even now they still own Gucci, yeah. Balenciaga, yeah. YSL, yeah. Yeah. and also, yeah. yeah, starting to like, you know. So basically like LVMH. LVMH, yeah. but like for the Gucci yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. 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 so started to chopping it up with those type of people, you know, like dipping my hands into like high fashion and mm. trying to understand mm. and like, okay, how can like, we start I doing this shit in this, space. in this space, you yeah. know, like, yeah. and yeah, until, you know, um, until I, yeah, doing these campaigns, 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 always getting briefs, you know, like, but like me, I'm just executing. I'm not executing like because of like my personal work, like mm-hmm. Tanja Rocks or any mm-hmm. other shit. Mm-hmm. It's I'm doing brand work. Mm-hmm. I'm at work, you know, like mm-hmm. so now it changes. Um, I'm like, okay, I've done all the connect. I'm good. I don't need to work here anymore, yeah. right? I don't need to go like mm-hmm. to Gucci, Louis, what, working Puma, way, 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 new balancing. I've done what I need. I worked, to. dude, like yeah. I worked with yeah. over, let's say 50 brands, bro. Yeah. Like over, I can say 100. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of brands. Yeah. Like yeah. global, renowned, head office, you know, like, and I'm like, what the? What's going on? Then I was like, okay, you know now, I think I'm gonna go back to my elements of like creating for my own, mm. you know? Then I was upstate in New York. Um, my friend has a studio um, in the Hamptons, in upstate there in New York. Then, um, then we used to do like frequently go to Fishkill, go to the Hamptons, go to like Rochester, go to like, you know, Albany, different places in New York, you know, like exploring the state, yeah. you know, so um, then, yeah, like got to my friend's studio he, she's an artist, she's a British artist, she, okay. she was born in in, 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 in visual British, artist, yeah, visual artist okay. she was okay. born in British, like she's British but like okay. she, she, lives, she in lives in New York, in New York. she has okay. a studio and everything there, so I got there and it's like me, I'm just taking a canvas, mm. creating something on her, like using one of. Had you ever painted before that moment? No, never. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. No, nah. that was the. Oh. So that's the the fine artist seed being planted. Yeah, then um, I was always around artists, but like I was like, damn, if I can do this, yeah, imagine. What I could do, do like with the connects that yeah, I have, that you have. And then I sat down. Oh, I... Even when I started doing this shit, I was yeah. like never planning to like this shit would like really, actually yeah. really work. I just did like this piece, and she was out, and I, I was like, did like a random pair and filled in colors in it and everything. Yeah. It took some time though. <clears throat> it took like maybe let's say an hour to two hours. Then when she came to me, she like, wow. You know, like, what's this? Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. what? It's like, I like this. And I was yeah. like, what? Like, I like Then I, COVID hit, came back to SA. I went to my grand's house mm. in Pretoria. Then, 
we are my grand's house in Pretoria. Mm. Mm, it was level three, I think, when they started opening like stores. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where the people at least could breathe. I went I to know. an art store. Something okay. told me to go buy like canvases, brushes, paints, paint, paint, yeah. spend like a lot of money on this shit. Yeah. A lot. Like a lot. Like I bought a lot of yeah. A lot supplies. of supplies. Like, yeah, because art supplies are quite expensive. Yeah. They're so actually I, quite expensive. I told her to send me like a list of like shit to buy. You know, proper stuff. Yeah. I don't want proper shit. Yeah. I don't want like the basic things. Yeah, because when I got there, like my my cousin's daughters were in primary, I think. She was in like grade two or something. So there was like <clears throat> stationary stationary box and that in that stationary box one day I was looking for like an, a pen. Then I saw like these water colors. Mm, the water colors. Yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. that like you just yes. yes. Then I started doing I, I did something with the watercolors. Mm. Then I was like this one like I hit up my friend, I was like, yo, send me list of stuff that you know, I like I back. think now because yeah. I saw as if like if I can like just starting with that watercolor I wanted to do more then I went to a store in Pretoria but some supply came back same day I locked in I think I did like six pieces I came back around 5 p.m. by 11 p.m. I did like six pieces you know, like I just, just chilling, yeah, just, just chilling. Mm. I painted, I painted, and everyone like, cause that my grand's house, my uncle was one of the penta. What penta? Karaga neida, one of the penta. So the kids there, my cousin's kids come, look at me paint. They're happy, yeah. they're like jumpy, jumpy. But when I, hey, but when I, you got more to wear up on the patsu irang. Hey, when I, hey, more to the car irang. Then, and you're live on Dead Radio. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you would love to have this bag. This bag. This bag. This bag. Well, here's your chance to win it. Here's how to win. Step one join and become a member by clicking the link in the description below. Step two comment under this video. Step three relax. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put all the members into a raffle, assign a number to each of those members, and then to make sure that we're not scamming you, we're going to use Google Number Generator to pick a winner. I know you want this bag. And you're live on Dead Radio. I started taking those things, pictures, sending it to my friend who's a graphic designer to say, retouch this thing. Make it clean, mm -hmm. put it like digitize, mm -hmm. you know. Digitize yeah, it, yeah. And then yeah. Um, since it was COVID, I was like, let me campaign this thing. Mm. Once again, yeah. You campaign thing, you're like, okay, here's another medium. Medium, yeah. yeah. I was like, let me yeah. campaign this thing. Yeah. Then I was like, what I can call this thing is become one with the earth. Okay. You know, okay. like become one, one with the earth. So I was like, this is the name of the series. How am I going to campaign become one with the earth? Okay. Then I typed down the stories, like become one with the earth. It's like, you know, in, like the, the incorporation of like all the elements and other sort of life. And you know, like mm. four. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yes. 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 Like, was, uh, everything yeah, comes yeah, together, yeah. then yeah. become one of the earth. I shared with this lady, her name is Nomaza. Nomaza. Nomaza, she's like, owns a company called Undiscovered Canvas. It's, okay. It's like Lula Mawol's manager. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I hit her up, because like, I was seeing interviews. Okay. And at the time, that's when like, Lula Mawolf was being seen. Oh, starting, we, yeah, starting to link up with Nomaza. Okay. Me too, I started linking up with yeah. Nomaza at the time. Okay. So she used to do like lockdown interviews. Then I saw like a lot of interviews that like she was doing with artists. And I was like, let's do this. Okay. I have a series. Let's talk about the series. 
Even though I don't have like nothing to show that like I'm an artist. Yeah, you've never been in a gallery like. I have been in a gallery. No, I mean at that oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, showing. Yeah. Showing. Yeah, showing. yeah, like no exhibition, no yeah. nothing. And she's like a highest. She's one of the best art dealers. She yeah. lives in France. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I have a series. Yeah. I sign a PDF. It's a deck. Everything, yeah. Yeah. It's Presentation. Great. Because I'm campaigning this thing. Yeah. I want yeah. this. I want to yeah. be in this thing. She was like, yo, let's set up time. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. Then, yeah, it was that time when, like, podcasts and interviews were done on live yeah. Zoom. Yeah. We record it, then you post and it. Then on you this post. episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Carson. You know what I did? I went, I built these stands like this, this tall, tall, like yeah. these tripods. Yeah. Like, you know, and yeah. then my cousins helped me to mount those pieces there on the thing, on those stands. I used wood and you mounted them like they were like on my background. Mm. And like, for the interview. Yeah. Then I went to a mountain. I went to a mountain. Okay. In Northwest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I went to a mountain in Northwest. I sat on a rock and waited for the interview. At the top of a mountain. Already distinguishing yourself from every Yeah, because yeah. it's becoming one with the earth. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was like, okay, I wanted I understand. to be one in nature with my art around me. And the elements. And the elements, okay. you know. Then I had okay. to do a whole set. Brilliant. Of, I had to do a whole set production. Brilliant. For this interview. Like, imagine okay. a set production for an interview. I did, like, a whole set for myself. But, like, something that's happening on the phone. Mm. But, like, just to show her. What like, are you? Yo. Because it's online, it's going to be, one yeah, with, with the earth. earth. Then I started talking things like, you know, yeah, this is where I create my art on this mountain. Mm. This is where, like, I draw inspiration. Mm. And now I'm thinking <laughs> of, like, building sculptures here. You know, like, I want to make it a sculpture park. Yeah, I want to, yeah, you know, she yeah. was like, wow, wow. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, you're talking about, like, wow. Brilliant. You know that? Brilliant. It was success. He posted the thing. Yeah, I feel like that was like my first gish into like into the art world. Yeah, now. visual. Yeah, art perspective thing. Then I was like, I, you know what? Yeah, I started doing pieces. Right, these pieces. I was like, I, I don't want to be going around asking my neighbors, my friends do, do to you buy. buy. No, no, yeah. no. I was like, how are you gonna do? How are you gonna sell these things? These. You know, like yeah. I called one of the biggest art um, supply manufacturers in South Africa. They called them Prime Art. Okay. So I was like, let's work on a campaign together. They're the ones who supply like... Everything. Every, they supply okay. everywhere. Like, go hold. Yeah, yeah when well, you like to go direct. Yeah, direct. Yeah, Because yeah, you they, could have gone to CNA or PNA. They supply them. Yeah, they okay. supply everything. All these okay. boards that we see, they yeah. supply them. In fact, they do everything. Okay. The names of the brands of the whatever. Gabon. Mm. Gabon. Yeah. And this lady, her name is Sue. I was like, let's do a collaboration. Let me, let's work on like a prime art campaign. I'm going to paint using your product. Mm. I'm going to paint using your brushes, your canvases. Mm. Then we're going to host an exhibition. But like you guys need to pay for each piece. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. So it's basically a sold out show. Already. Already. That's how I started. I sold out, I didn't want it. At, before you even had, I, had to, I saw that even before I, I can paint. It's like the Jay Z you know? move when yeah. he did with Samsung and the Magna Carta. Yeah. Before that album was out, it was platinum. It was already. platinum. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn, genius idea. Then yeah, we did the whole thing. Then I sold out. Do you think? But like, I still kept the art. Conclude, like with you. Yeah. <laughs> so they paid you. <laughs> they paid you for the art and you kept the art. I kept the art. Brilliant. Brilliant. It now started to grow in brands. Started being applied on Birkenstocks. 
Yeah, that's that when art. the art. Yeah, must then that's when like, I stopped doing pieces. Since like I okay. did that, I was like, I no painting, no pieces. Now mm-hmm. let me use those brands and those connections. Take these designs on these pieces, mm-hmm. apply them on sneakers, apply them on t shirts, apply them on throws. Mm-hmm. You know, like. Those are your canvases. Yeah, right? apply, apply, apply. I applied on Lacoste, I applied mm, on Reebok, mm, I applied mm, on mm. Birkenstock Crocs. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. on the art side, I did collabs more than any artist. So, do you think that the fact sorry, sorry. that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Just jokes. Is, yeah, it's facts. Yeah, it's facts. <laughs> do you think the fact that you, aren't, you weren't a traditional artist? is the reason that you viewed it in another way. I'm a businessman. I hear that. Before anything. Yeah, I'm good yeah. with business development. Yeah. I'm a strategist. Yeah. I'm negotiating. A negotiating. Yeah. I'm a multi-purpose yeah. human. I'm capable. I hear that. I'm the most capable. smartest and capable human being. I hear that. You know, so that's why everything that I go to, it's a success. Yeah. You know, like, I need to think, I campaign it. Yeah. You know, then it came to a point where, let's say, I started, with the art thing, I was like fed up because like I was starting to see this pattern of mine, mm. this inorganic pattern that I supply on brands, which like there was no one applying that pattern into brands. Then I'm True. starting seeing brands True. now wanting to apply that pattern. Mm. Same style, same thing. Mm. I was like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, without you know, asking without, you, without involving Why don't you, you like collaborating or something? Yeah. And yeah. I, you know, that's when don't like take what I gave. Yeah, you that's when and use it. Yes, yeah. that's what. Then he started saying, yo, you were calling out people and all that. Mm. I was calling out people because of that. Because of and that. there's some people which the artists they started hating me because like I'm calling out their friends. Mm. You know, like, oh, I'm calling out brands. Yeah. They'd be like, that's not what an artist do. That's what like, mm. and I don't, you're not on my side. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're your own artist. Yeah, yeah. You have your own crew. I ain't got no crew. Yeah. It's just me. Yeah, just I don't me. roll with the crew. That's why you guys were wondering how I'm doing the, all these collaborations. You don't know how I was doing all those collaborations. True, true. Artists. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all got backed up by agencies. Yeah. Y'all got backed yeah. up by your Galleries. managers. Yeah. I'm doing this thing by myself. myself. Yeah. Y'all got galleries. Y'all got friends. Yeah. I ain't got no friends. Yeah. I'm my friend. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm my yeah. own boss. I did this thing on myself. By yourself. You know, yeah. and... I get why the, the hate was coming for you. I understand, because they were probably like, I've been painting for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, this game. Just came. Just collaborating with Reebok. And they don't understand that like, yeah. I have a strong background yeah. into like, connections yeah. that yeah. I have. Yeah. 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 It doesn't mean that like, yeah. if you don't know me, you think, let's say, let's say if you, it doesn't mean if you know me, you know everything about me, mm. Mm. you know? Or maybe, yeah, it's like you're underestimating me. Yeah. Or you're like, what? You know? Yeah. But like, yeah. I'm here to show you that like I can do anything. You know? I'm going to be involved in every biggest shit that's going to happen in this world. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Believe it. Today, I'm saying it. Even starting any biggest thing that's going to happen in this world, I'm going to be involved. Yeah. 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 I was involved on Hey Neighbor. One of the <sighs> first Africa's largest music festival. I actually want to talk about that. How... I was involved. How? I'm involved in a lot of shit right now. Some of shit is confidential. Some of shit is not about your industry. Yeah. This ain't yeah. about your worker shit. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. this ain't about, like, the Instagram shit. This ain't about your fashion shit. Yeah. This is about life shit. Life. Yeah. You know? It's bigger than the industry. I love fashion. I love art. But, like, there's some people just make it dirty. Yeah. 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 The game is dirty. Yeah. They just make it dirty. The and dirty. we're the cleanest people ever. You know, we're the cleanest people I ever. Hear that. Like, cleanest people ever. Like, my intentions are pure. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. like I pray. It starts with love. Yeah. 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 So, I'm not going to talk about I'm not going to write to everything and they do everything. Like, as if we got a maybe, like, you can't do it. Like, I can't do it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. The originators. Yeah. Yeah. 
involved or something. That's why they can't put you in a bus because they actually don't know. Okay, in 2024, actually, Jay Carson, what oh. is he gonna do? Because he's just gonna pivot and do something completely different. Even now, even now, it's not about like now. I have to campaign or I have to mm. what? I'm helping mm. people to campaign. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. I'm teaching mm. people how to campaign. Mm. 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 That's the phase that you're in right yeah. now. You know, mm. I'm helping people about positioning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Business development strategist. Yeah, yeah. So I know. Experiential creative director. You built the Jay Carson brand. Now you're helping other people build their brands. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because okay. I, I was like, if I carry on doing my thing. Yeah. I don't want work competitors. Yeah. I want a yeah. challenge. Yeah. So yeah. I'm building yeah. my challenges now. Ah. <laughs> so when I go Brilliant. back to me, yeah. no, I know it's like... I have competition. I have competition yeah. now. Yeah, it does. You know? Yeah. It's like, even them, when they come toe-to-toe -to -toe with mm. me, even we're at the finals, mm. if they win, mm. but like, they'll no say... We, Jay, Jay put us here. Jay. I mean, like, it's a thing of like, me, I'll say, I'm proud of you. Mm, 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 they don't need to say, mm, Jay put us here. I'm just like, mm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Yeah. This and what it's I'm all love. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm proud of you. But like, I don't expect to be beaten in any fucking field. Mm. You know? I want to ask how, because I do believe that ideas are everywhere floating in the ether. Yeah. How do you keep your mind clear enough for your antenna? To pick up these ideas I mean it's me I because you living, see, I don't just like I I don't just like talk to anyone mm, mm, you know mm. I don't just like watch anything mm, I don't just mm. um, you keep your mind like clear yeah I mean like I'm not I'm not interested I'm mm, the type of person mm, you know I'm, mm, it doesn't matter you know, like, mm -hmm. my month, it doesn't matter, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. some days, some what, we're going to forget about it. So, me, I want things which are going to be sustainable. Things mm -hmm. are going to be, like, forever. You know, and the people that I have conversations with, the people that, like, I'm, I put myself around with, mm -hmm. you know, like, your environment is the one that makes you. True, true. It's so the master of your destiny. Must, yeah, yeah, so yeah. my environment is, like, the right people, the decision makers, the secrets of the game, the people who pull shots, everyone. Like, that's my that's ecosystem. Your... I've built my ecosystem. Yeah. That's why. That's I'm... how you keep your mind. And clean. I know when to, like, I know when it's like friends' time. I know when it's family time. I hear you. I'm not a creative you. when I'm with my friends. I'm not mm. like a. We're gonna argue about like. Whatever. things. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our, uh, it's that time like of me like to Just be with chilling. my friends you know Imagine it's that. that time for me to be with my girlfriend mm. you know like she's the love of my life i love her we're gonna focus on the love mm. it's that time to be with my family my little mm. sister mm. it's that time I can't just be walking in my house and walking as if like a fucking creative director. I hear I'm you. home. I hear you. you know, yeah. like it's different. I'll be yeah, all that goes out the window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, nah, it's still there. Yeah, but like it's not. But I'm yeah. here now. Yeah. We're going to be there in France, in Paris, yeah. in New York yeah. Yeah. with your brands. That's when you you're going to be a creative director. Like, hey, neighbor, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Events and all those things. Yeah. That's where you're going to be at work. You're at work, yeah. you're gonna get briefs, you're gonna be briefed, you're gonna yeah. be, yeah. you know, there's like a whole chain of, you know, of work. But that's how you keep your mind clear. Yeah, your and my, yeah, right. so I don't wanna be a creative everywhere you yeah. go and yeah. trying to be like, I mean, yeah, that I'm here. life is bigger than yeah. just that. Yeah, it's small, man. But yeah. like, you can still yeah. make your work your life. Yeah. You know, like yeah. some people say, like my my life is my work, and I mean, yeah, it can be because that's what makes me survive yeah. and eat. Yeah. And but like, I'm a normal person at yeah. the end of the day. At the end like, of the day, I do normal things. Yeah. Like me, I don't do. 
affected things. things yeah. Like, oh, you'll find me, guy, yeah. guy, because I'm yeah. a group. Yeah. You're the creative. Yeah. I'm like, oh, those bangs. Go, guy, guy, get steaming, go to Royale, go to the guy, get some of the illusions. Yeah. Mandala, and I get those demons, give me a fan. Why is You live a normal life. Can normal. Mandala, and can normal. When I'm big, I'm at a big house. That's it. Child. Okay. Sicilian. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah like yeah. I'm a Sicilian. Yeah. I'm like a, yeah. I'm a Don. Yeah. I'm a, the head know. of the family. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, like yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. The Godfather. We're on the table, yeah. you know, of yeah. the families. Yeah. You know, I'm part of the table of the family. You yeah. know, like you know, yeah. you know, yeah. Chicante, all yeah. those guys. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I'm there. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. So I love that. I love yeah. that. Um, Dope. Um, hey neighbor. How does that happen? How do you start working with that collective? What was your position at Hey Neighbor? They dropped the poster, I approached them. Okay, before, once again. Before... Direct. Before even they can um, drop artist lineup. Actually, let me tell you about this, why I got involved in eventing, my friend. Big brother friend. Um, he does like, he's connected with everything in the world. He does major events, you know. So, um, but like not major events in South Africa, globally. Globally, okay, okay. So, we've been chatting, and he was like, "Let's do an event." We gathered people that do huge events in South Africa, like your guys who do Cotton Fest and um, guys who do what but it's like, if we can gather these guys and we can like try do like something we can work with them mm. he can access millions and dollars into fundings oh, into like you know like okay. so we work together me building up decks for those events and stuff like that and this is last year okay and <clears throat> starting to now learning how to design tours for artists you know learning from people who've been designing tours for kanye Mm. Travis Scott, okay. engaging with those people, okay. people on the highest yeah, level, at work with them, okay. you know, like um, okay. from your Donda, yeah, yeah. Donda yeah. releases yeah. Yeah. to yeah. like yo a lot of shit. Yeah. You know, okay. like I'm talking about like creative design firms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like these are creative okay. design firms. So people that produce like your Louis Vuitton shows, okay. you know, like okay. everything, like set okay. productions, okay. everything, tours. yeah, tours, okay. yeah. I get that. Linking up with those type of mans, mm. being at work, you know, like learning. Mm. Yeah, so doing all those major things, <clears throat> all those people like working for Kanye and all those people. That's how the eventing yes. thing for you starts. Yeah, so then. Okay. I approached Hey Neighbor. Okay. I DM the festival that no. Email the festival. This is after they put out the flyer, that first flyer that they put out. Yeah. Okay. Before okay. any big announcement. Okay. Then because okay. I was seeing it's like, okay, this is something that's gonna look like rock in the days is mm. at the when at I started that time. at that time. Yeah. 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 Then it's happening in Pretoria and it's like, hey, these guys, let me hit them up. I share my profile about like the people that like I'm working with from Kanye and mm. How, mm. <laughs> showing them like mm. you know like mm. how good mm. I am and they're mm. good people all love you mm. know like mm. to Hey Neighbor team mm. DMing the festival director festival director linking up linking me up with more people in the office then you know I got recruited to be part of the festival we started planning the festival together, mm. doing the decks and all those things, experiential installations and, mm. you know, yeah. consumer journey, mm. you know, festival experiences yeah. and, yeah, yeah, doing all those things with them. And I, okay. I've learned a lot from them. From just that experience. Yeah, yeah. you know, like, it's, yeah. I really yeah. appreciate them 
the, I can say they were one of the people that like you know held me down in 2023. Mm, mm. I really appreciate that. You know, like it's family. Yeah, it's home. Yeah, your yeah. neighbor. Yeah, it's home. And it's beautiful that it was in Pretoria. Yeah, where it's you're home. from. Yeah, and I say, yeah, it's home. Those are my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Everyone in that office, yeah. ride yeah. or die. I appreciate them with all my heart. Dope. Yeah, that's fucking dope. Okay, um, we've learned about the seeds that are now trees. Mm -hmm. um, it's a brand new year, and knowing Jay Carson is knowing that he's unexpected. We never know which direction he's going to go. What's your plans for the new year looking forward? Obviously, you don't have to tell us exactly, but... What's the direction that Jay wants to take? Um, like doing more incredible things, you yeah. know, like yeah. learning more things, yeah. being in the space and yeah. protecting the 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 universe. Yeah. You know, like learning about the universe. Maybe we might also go to space. You never yeah. know. You never know. We can campaign to go to space. You know, um, my little DM Elon Musk, yeah, yeah. you know, like yeah. something can happen, you yeah. know, like, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, bro, the sky is not the limit, yeah, you know, yeah. so it's yeah. beyond that, it's beyond the yeah, sky. So, but like, what I can say, 2024, the universe is on my side, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. the plan, the yeah. universe is on my side, yeah. yeah, that's 2024 for me, okay, you know, it's like everything is on my side, everyone is playing for my team, I hear that. I Everyone is playing for my team. I hear that. If you think they're playing for your team, you're wrong. You're gonna pull up a low. <laughs> it's gonna I be. It's that. a walkover. Yeah. You yeah. know. So yeah. everyone is playing for the Jay Carson squad. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 And they're gonna be dancing on the Jay Carson in June. It's 2024. I hear that. Yeah. I hear We're that. calling shots. Yeah. Like yeah. how we've been doing. Yeah. It. You know. Ain't you nothing know, changed. Ain't nothing ain't changed. Nothing changed. the same. Yeah. Been the yeah. done then. Yeah. 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 And uh, what's your last word to people out there? Um, people trying to figure it out, people trying to make moves in the game, people who feel they aren't confident in the ideas. What's your last word to them? Um, I mean, yeah, play my podcast if you want to, you know. Get the secrets. Get the secrets get of the, the game. Yeah. Watch this one, yeah. repeat it, share it yeah. with people. Yeah. Be inspired, it's gonna feel you crazy. Yeah. Like, watch it from start to end, yeah. It's gonna inspire you, man. You yeah. know, and um, yeah. yeah, I mean, what else? God is able, you know, keep praying, God will give you the wisdom for you to be juiced up, you know, and just appreciate life. Remember to count your blessings, remember to love your family. Keep the ones that you love close to you. You know, like success doesn't doesn't just come with you just being creative or working or doing business with who. It comes with you on how your intentions are pure. Mm. You know, your, your intentions gotta be pure, pure, pure. pure you know, That's like true. so. Um, be pure at your purest form. You know, and everything will fall into place. Yeah. Be pure, bro. Mm. So mm. that's an mm. advice that I'm gonna give to everyone, bro. Like, I hear that. think again. I hear that. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Peace and love. Um, shout out for tuning into another episode of Dead Radio. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back again. Thanks, man. And you're live on Dead Radio. <laughs> <laughs>